the memory debugger is completely integrated within the total view debugger. However, it doesn't get involved with the debugging process until you tell it to, and it can only be added when you start or restart your program. When you start total view with no arguments, or if you select the File New Program dialog box, you can both enable memory debugging and tell the memory debugger to stop when it encounters a memory error. A second method is to go to the Process pull-down menu in the Process window. Here you will also find the same two commands. The final way is to select the Tools Memory Debugging command. TotalView responds by displaying the Memory Debugger's configuration page. This page has the same two options. Starting the Memory Debugger when running programs on an IBM RS6000 is more complicated. You will need to read Chapter 4 of the Debugging Memory Problems using the TotalView Debugger Guide. If you are worried about your program writing before or after an allocated memory block, select Guard Allocated Memory. This tells the memory debugger to write a small block of memory both before and after the block your program allocates. If your program writes into these added blocks, you will know that your program would have corrupted another block's memory. Selecting Paint tells the memory debugger to write a bit pattern into allocated or deallocated memory blocks. When using the variable or expressionless windows, you are quickly able to tell if your program is using uninitialized or deallocated memory. Now that you have told the memory debugger what it should do, select the Run icon to start execution. As your program runs, the memory debugger will watch for errors and events. If they occur, TotalView stops execution. In many cases, you will want to stop execution and generate reports that tell how your program is using or misusing memory. Do this by pressing the Halt button. Thank you for watching this video. If you have suggestions for other videos, please send your request to documentation at totalviewtech.com.